Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over eyebrows, all about the brows. So, we will get straight into it. When I first started makeup, which was over 10 years ago now, going on, I think we're going on 15 years, um, eyebrows were not a big thing at all. You literally, the only options you had were powder products and that was mainly using eyeshadows to fill in the brows. Now we have got such a large array of eyebrow products and it can be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to start from the most natural sort of products and work my way up to the more full on ones. So on the market we have got brow gels which are probably coming in as the most natural. So the brow gels usually come in a clear formula or they come in a tinted formula. The tinted formula isn't really my favourite because I already have quite dark natural brows and so I don't find that does much for me. The tinted ones are more for if you've got really fair brows, it can help to just add a little bit of definition to your eyebrows quickly or to set them in place. Brow gels are generally used to set your eyebrows into place when you are finished filling them in. That's what I use them for. You can just use the tinted ones by themselves or you can use the clear ones by themselves if you have full brows and don't want to add any extra colour. The next up in the most natural phase in eyebrows, brow powders. So I've got two here, I've got my Pony Cosmetics brow powder and I have got my Garbon Cali brow powder. Sorry, I lie, and I've also got the Australis Browse It Eyebrow um, Perfecting Kit. This one here comes with the two powders. So a lot of them will come with two, if you're getting a kit, they will come with two different shades. So you can ombre your eyebrows. So the front of your eyebrows is usually lighter, and then it goes through to the deeper section of your eyebrows. This is the same with the Garbo and Kelly one. They have the lighter shade for the front of your brows, and the deeper shade for the tail end of your brows. Um, these are pretty good. They don't usually have as good a staying power as a pencil, which is why I actually started using these, started out using these because that's what I was used to, given that that was all that was available for eyebrows when I started. Um, but I have since graduated on to pencils. And a lot of the times these kits will come with a brow wax at the end. Now, brow waxes... You can either use them before applying the powder, so your powder has something to stick to, or you can use them afterwards to set your eyebrows in place. I personally find brow waxes a little bit too, they stay sticky, where I don't like that on my eyebrows, so I tend to not use them. But doing Or a brow powder will come in just a single colour, like the Pony Cosmetics one, and what you'll do with that is use the majority of it on the tail, and then with what's left on your brush, go through the front end to give it that ombre effect and not a blocky look. The next one on the market and my personal favourite, eyebrow pencils. Eyebrow pencils come in many different shapes and sizes. Majority of them will come either on in a fine tip one like this, as a little circular pencil like you'd find in a normal lead pencil, or they will come with in a angled shape, so a line. Um, it's usually a triangle tip. So you've got a thicker end and then a thinner end. I alternate between the normal thin ones and the ones that have the triangle tip, the longer tip. And that is because if I am doing a full on makeup look, I will tend to go more with the triangle tip ones because I feel like they give a fuller effect to my brows. If it's on a natural day or I'm not doing too much with my eyeshadows, I will go with the finer tipped ones because they give you a more precise look to the eyebrows. Personal favourite. Some eyebrow pencils as well, I also have an Australis one like this but I didn't grab it, have a gel built into the end like this one here from Pixie. This one here looks like it's a tint but it's really just a clear, it's really just a clear gel to set them into place um, which is handy. Most of them will come with a spoolie on the end as well and that is to brush the product through your eyebrows. Always important to be brushing the product through your eyebrows and not just leaving it drawn on. You'll see the lines and everything. Now a more recent one that has come out is felt tip brow colours. So it is literally a felt tip liner. So like an eyeliner but for the eyebrows. And the difference of it with compared to a felt tip eyeliner is that the felt tip is a lot softer and it will give a lighter colour. So you can barely see that on my hand there. Whereas a eyeliner is going to have more pigment. These ones are fine pigment because they're obviously not meant to be as full on as an eyeliner. These ones are meant to blend in with your eyebrows. So these ones are pretty easy. You just literally flick hair like strokes through your eyebrows. They're a more recent one to come on the market. 
I also find these double great to give yourself faux freckles because they are so light and you can easily just dot it wherever. Next up, if you want the real full on brows, you're going to go with a pomade. This one here is my Garbo and Kelly brow pomade. I've used it a bit. I don't use it that often. These ones here are waterproof and they're the ones when you see Instagram people with really full on brows, they're most likely using a brow pomade. It is a paste. It's a lot thicker. It will set into place. I find them a little bit more difficult to work with. I do use them occasionally, but they're not my favorite. Again, great for faux freckles though. So that is in general all the different styles of brow products that are on the market. I am pretty sure we're going to see a hell of a lot more brow products coming out over the next few years because brows are not going anywhere. Before I do my brows, I haven't done my brows yet today. They're plain, but as you can see, I do have pretty full brows in general. Um, and then if you follow me on Instagram or you're on my Facebook page, it's a it's a personal Facebook page. I don't usually really put makeup stuff on there. I was going through an old photo album trying to find a photo of Oh I was trying to find a bad bad prom dress photo and I found instead my bad eyebrow photo. So I'll put it up here. They were horrendous. I don't know who let me leave the house with my eyebrows looking like that? I always remember my eyebrows being really full when I was at school. So I feel like... I feel like they weren't. <laughs> Mine were just wonky and real bad. I'm pretty sure I did them myself at home. I definitely didn't go to a salon. I didn't have them professionally waxed. Thank God I went to beauty school and I learned how to do them properly. <laughs> now I'm not saying I'm perfect at eyebrows. I just know how I like my eyebrows to be. That picture reminded me that I need to do a makeup tutorial on how to do your eyebrows because no one should have to suffer through those sort of horrendous brows <sighs> ever. Um, so I would honestly, if you've never had your eyebrows professionally shaped, recommend going to a beauty salon and getting someone to professionally shape them. But the general rule is for eyebrows. You do not want to go past this point. When looking at your eyebrow, you want to leave that. So what you can do when marking what you should be doing, you can take a pencil and you can mark it where you need before plucking. So you want to leave that section there. You want to line it, line it up with the edge of your nostril, not the outer section of your nostril, the inner section there. And that is where your eyebrow should start. And take anything else in this section out. Then to get the tail end, you want to line up again at the edge of the nostril and go against the eye. And that is where your eyebrow should end. Then, to get the high point, the archy eyebrow, you generally can naturally see it with your eyebrow. I have very straight eyebrows. I have Botox, which does help to lift them. But to get the high point, you need to go from the corner again, through the iris of your eye, and that is usually where your high point will sit. So, it all lines up. Like so, just a straight line. So that's how you map out your eyebrows and what you should do. Another helpful thing is brow guides. Let me just grab them. Brow guides or brow stencils. So I have got one from Pony and one from Garbo and Kelly. So they will usually come in different sizes. So some of them will come with just a full blank space. Some of them will come, let me get these ones open. The Pony Cosmetics ones come with a line through the end and they come with straight, long arch, or ideal, so different shapes for the brows. So you just buy them as a set and then you can place it over your eyebrow and then with powder fill in the space. So hold it there with an angled liner brush, fill in there. When you remove it, you can see where your eyebrow is supposed to sit and then you can tidy up around it. So they're very handy for that. Today I might take my Garbo and Kelly Brow Perfection Pencil, which is one of the thin tipped ones. So with any eyebrow product that you are using, you're going to want a spoolie. As I said, most pencils will come with it on the end. I still tend to use a spoolie. So now we're going to go ahead with how I like to fill in my brows. So what I like to do first is brush all the hairs up so you get all the hairs going in an upwards motion and you'll be able to see properly where you're going. Then what I like to do is starting at the front of the eyebrow, I draw a straight line in short strokes. I'm not doing a straight line like that. I am doing short little flicks. Working my way 
up to the high point. Then you're going to bring it straight back down again short strokes and then take it to where I need to take it past my last hair to get to the shape that I said when we were measuring before. So I've done that you can see there I have it already looks fuller than the other side and all I've done is drawn a line underneath. Then what I'm going to do is go along the top. So then from the top I'm going from the front again but I'm not starting as far forward as I did previously. I am going to start a little bit further back and then again doing a straight line. And okay, so up to the high point and then bringing it down and meeting with that line to form a point. So that is literally just an outline at the moment. We're not leaving it like this. So now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to continue on this time, but I'm going to start filling in. I work from the tail first, then going forward. So starting at the top where it is the finest, I'm just going to do little flicks throughout the brow to add more color between the hairs. Okay, and then you obviously want the tail end of your brow to be a bit fuller than the front end. So then when I get to the front end, I'm going to start doing upwards flicks. Okay, and that is to match the same direction of the hair. Your hair grows in a downwards motion at the tail. At the front of your eyebrow, it grows in a upwards motion. So you always want to match the motion of the direction of the hair. So we're doing little flicks upwards. Okay, and then a few right at the front. It may look a little bit blocky, but we're going to fix that. So now I'm going to take my spoolie, or you can take the spoolie on the end of the pencil. I prefer the bigger one. But then you're going to take your spoolie and do exactly what you did in the first place. Just strokes upwards, and that's going to help blend the pencil in and lighten it. And once you've done that, So you can see now the harsh line along the top is now gone, it's blended in with the eyebrow. You can then look at your eyebrow that you've filled in, reevaluate if you need to add more strokes in there. So I'm going to take my pencil again and just in this base section add a little bit more. So that there is my ideal brow. So then after you've done that, if you have stuffed up underneath here at all, don't panic while you're drawing them, filling them in. You can use a concealer for this or what I like to use is my brow pop pencil. This one here has got two shades. It's by Pony Cosmetics. I love it. It's got a lighter highlighting shade and it's got a more skin tone shade. So I always take the skin tone shade. I don't really like the brightening, the highlighter shade. So what you want to do then underneath, you can use a concealer brushes or just draw it directly onto the skin. Starting at the front, this just sharpens the edge. And draw it along right under the eyebrow. Okay, and then with your finger or a concealer brush, I'm going to take my concealer brush for the sake of it. You're just going to blend it in. I blend it downwards or crossways, not up, because then you're going to take it into the hair of the eyebrows, which we just filled in. And so what that does is just gives you a sharper line underneath the eyebrow. See? Like so. Then I will go ahead and set it with a clear brow gel. And now to apply these, I go upwards at the front again pushing the brow hairs inwards and that is to help them to get the coating around them and to stay where you want them to so keep going up until you reach the high point and then you can bring it down 
if they're sticking up too much and you don't wish for them to, just take the edge and very lightly tap them down. And that will now be set in place all day. So that eyebrow is now done. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow and then I will come back. Alright, so my eyebrows are on both sides. Now I think it is important to note, I forgot to mention this just before, no one's faces are 100% symmetrical. Maybe some people's, but the majority of the population, no one's faces are symmetrical. So your eyebrows are obviously going to be different on each side. That is why the saying is around eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Try and get them as close as humanly possible. They are obviously going to be differences like the hairs on one side of my eyebrow sit straight up at the front. The other ones curve to the side. I just draw some more lines in to make them look similar. This one here sits lower than this one. It's a natural thing. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm fine with that. So get fine with your eyebrows not completely matching. I've seen people that have lower starting points on one side than the other. So it looks quite odd. Just try and make them look as even as possible. I think using the pencils is the easiest personally. Oh, and you should also try and do your eyebrows before doing your eyeshadow because then if you stuff up, you can still have time to put the concealer underneath or the brow pop. Um, whereas if you already have your eyes done, you cannot fix it. So my routine goes foundation and base and stuff first, then the eyebrows before I start eyeshadow, then I go eyeshadow lips. So that is how I do my eyebrows. Um, I do actually get quite a few questions about eyebrows, so I hope this has been helpful for the people that do ask me about filling in eyebrows. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!